Hey, Bob here with Marcel Family Farm. Uh, just giving you a look at our checks here. Uh, we're going to break you down on what we got, uh, what they're supposed to be, where we got them from, and uh, as we go along here, we're going to let you know what kind of uh, pullet ratios we got out of uh, bins we were supposed to get pullets from, from Factor Supply, Runnings, and uh, Country Max. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to identify each one uh, in the video, but we will uh, do close-ups on each one and each uh, type of uh, chicken as we move along here. But this is just our introduction, so we're new to uh, keeping chickens. We do have a little farm uh, that we've been running for a couple years. Uh, we do a little farmer's stand, we do some festivals, some market uh, gardening, and uh, we wanted to add chickens mainly to, to feed us and uh, also to offer a better selection out at our uh, stand. Uh, so what we got here is we got uh, three black stars from Tractor Supply. Those are all supposed to be bullets. We have uh, four black Osterlorps uh, from Tractor Supply as well. One red Amberlink, uh, that's supposed to be a pullet. Uh, one white Leghorn, that was from a pullet bin. Uh, two Rhode Island red uh, Easter Egger Americana crosses. Uh, those were also supposed to be bullets. We have uh, 11 Sapphire Gems. Uh, six of those, or eight of those, are actually from Tractor Supply, and five of them are from Runnings, all from Pullet Bins. So those should be all these bullets. Uh, we have four Light Brahmas. You can see the two monsters in here. That Those would be the uh, bigger Light Brahmas. We got those at Tractor Supply. We got them out of a straight run bin. Uh, the lady there uh, is telling us that she thinks they're hens, so we'll find out. They haven't really shown any uh, rooster behavior. They kind of walk on other chickens and stuff, but that might just be because of their size. Um, we also got two from a pullet bin at Runnings. Uh, we got six Plymouth Bard Rocks from uh, Tractor Supply. Those are all supposed to be uh, pullets. Uh, five Prairie Blue Bell Eggers from Runnings out of a pullet bin, so those should all be pullets. Uh, two silver lace wine dots from Runnings. Those are supposed to be pullets. Uh, that that one of those is actually our most sociable bird. It'll literally fly across the uh, box here to us when we open the door. Uh, we have three Easter eggers from Tractor Supply. Those are all supposed to be pullets. Uh, we went into a straight run bin again, and we got blue lace red wine dots just because we like the color, and these are our pets as well. And uh, we believe by Feather sexing them is uh, two day olds that we were able to get uh, two pullets, but we'll find out and we'll keep you updated on that. We got two gold, lace, uh, gold lace wine dots from Runnings, uh, those are from a pullet bin. We got a silver lock and velder from Runnings, that was from a straight run bin, uh, but we tried to feather sex it and pull ourselves out a, uh, a pullet, so we'll find out. Uh, we got one Buff Orpington from Runnings, that is supposed to be a pullet. Uh, from Country Max, uh, they didn't have a big selection at any of the ones around us, but we went in there uh, this weekend and they had some you know, two and a half week old beautiful Lavender Orpingtons. We didn't get them before because they were from straight run bins. Their feathers were developed, so what we did was uh, we got the six that had the most feather development. I know some people will say otherwise, but uh, we're going on the theory there that the uh, pullets uh, develop feathers faster. So we'll see. Uh, you never know. But if not, it'll make a beautiful rooster and uh, maybe some pets for some other people if there's too many of them. Uh, we got, we went into, we were really interested in the Bantams. My wife really wanted to get some silkies. We know they're not big egg layers. Uh, so what we thought, we had bought two silkies uh, one day and four more another day well I, I can guarantee four of them are because they have the black feet and I haven't had a chance to get up close and check them all out uh, so we have a definite four silkies they're a little bit different colors uh, we'll keep you updated on their growth and what they end up being uh, the lady believes they're all pullets I don't really think uh, we can be too sure on that one uh, even if the pros have issues uh, sexing silkies and then we, uh, we picked up two Ice of Browns, one of them uh, from the Tractor Supply. Uh, they're pullets. One of them had really bad poopy butt. We cleaned it up. It looks like it's doing good. It's hanging out with the rest. No more issues. Uh, and then we also got, so we're thinking we have four assorted Bantams. We're hoping to get a Seabright just because we like the look. Uh, heard they're a pretty independent bird, so it might be a bird we let roam. 
uh, you know, a little more than the others. And uh, the Silkies uh, were also from Tractor Supply, straight run. So what, we're going to keep you updated. Uh, you know, we don't do nothing basic. It's all organic feed. All the food that you see in here is organic. We're uh, growing leafy greens and stuff in our garden right now so that we can feed them 100% out of the yard throughout the summer and early winter months until uh, we run out. We're going to stick with the organic. Uh, we don't use any electrolytes or anything. What we do is we're using organic apple cider vinegar. We put, uh, you know, about a tablespoonful in each each jug we fill for them. We change that about two or three times a day. Uh, they're starting to get friendly. We spend a lot of time with them. We try to hold them. Uh, and we're hoping for some really good egg production and uh, some healthy chickens. If you uh, like, our, like our video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to follow us and see what we end up getting, please subscribe. Thank you.